Good afternoon. I am First Deputy Superintendent of the New York State Police, Chris Fiore. We will hear shortly from Governor Andrew Cuomo, but I will first provide an update on this morning's tragic incident based on the information that we currently have. This morning at approximately 3.30 a.m., members of the New York State Police, the Steuben County Sheriff's Office, and the Corning Police Department responded to a call of a suicidal subject barricaded at his residence in the town of Irwin, Steuben County. During the course of the response, Trooper Nicholas Clark was shot and killed by the suspect. The suspect was later found deceased in the residence with an apparent gunshot wound. Trooper Clark, who was 29 years old, lived in Troopsburg, New York. He graduated from the 203rd, 203rd session of the, of the uh, State Police Basic School in September of 2015. He was presently assigned to SP Bath, Troop E. He was survived by his mother, father, and brother, who have all been notified. This is a terrible loss for the New York State Police, and our thoughts and prayers are with Trooper Clark and his family. The incident remains under investigation, and the State Police will make additional information available as it comes in. I would now like to hand it over to Governor Cuomo. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank the uh, First Deputy Superintendent Chris Fiore for his good work, Field Commander Stephen Smith, Richard Allen, who is the Troop Major for Troop E. Uh, thank you, and we're sorry for your loss and all the colleagues of Trooper Clark, Steuben County Sheriff Jim Allard. I want to thank him for his partnership with the state police, uh, but especially for their help and assistance during this situation after Trooper Clark was hit with gunfire. A deputy sheriff uh, put his own life in danger to pull Trooper Clark to a, a position of safety. Uh, to the Clark family, to his mother, his father, his brother, we hope you find peace uh, in this senseless uh, act of violence. You have a 29-year-old trooper, a stellar trooper with a, an extraordinary record, his whole life before him, great athlete, well accomplished. He wanted to do one thing, which is help people and be part of public service. And that's what the New York State Police afford, an opportunity to give back to your community, to help your community, to help other families. Uh, a situation like this makes no sense uh, on any side. The loss of life, 29-year-old with his whole life ahead of him, was just trying to help and do good things. As governor, you deal with a lot of different situations, uh, some uh, almost unimaginable, especially in these difficult times. This is one situation that I've gone through before, the state police have gone through before, 13 troopers lost in five years. There's no answer. There's no point. Uh, it's just sad and painful to the state police and to all police officers in this state. I want them to know that every person in the state of New York has nothing but respect for them, trust in them, and love for them and their families. We know the danger that you put yourself in every day when you leave the house. We know the fear that is in your family's heart when you're out there. Uh, and we truly and deeply appreciate the risk that you take to keep our families safe. And everything the police do nowadays is dangerous, whether it's a traffic stop or a domestic violence incident or a storm or a hurricane or possible terrorist activity, it's all 
dangerous because these are frightening times. Uh, and in many ways, we need our police officers and public protectors more than ever. Again, to the Clark family, you're in our thoughts, you're in our prayers, to the colleagues of Trooper Clark, you're in our thoughts and in, your, in our prayers, to the Steuben County Sheriff's Department, thank you for being there. Thank you for the courage that you showed in trying to be helpful. Uh, and um, we will go forward together and understand that this is the risk that public service for law enforcement officers pose.